Hello guys, my name is Danielle. I live in Texas in the United States and I'm an English teacher here on Verbling. Today's lesson is an intermediate level and we are going to read different uh, movie synopsises for the different movies that are out in theater right now. So I have the links for y'all um, that I will give y'all as soon as y'all join. And um, we can start with this one as soon as people arrive. Hello, Nat Natalia. Hi, Daniela. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Good. What have you done this week? Um, uh, a hard work. Um, um, I I study English, and that's it. A normal week. <laughs> A normal week? Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. It's very nice to see you, Natalia. Thank you. You're welcome. And hello, Bakri? Yes. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? Good. I'm good. And how has your week been? What have you done? Uh, well, just studying, working, and yeah, that's it. Studying and working. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. everyone's been doing kind of the same thing. Yeah, it's every day. <laughs> Very good. All right, and Paolo, hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good, and you? Good, I'm good, thanks for asking. And what have you done this week? This week I returned to the college. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So y'all start in y'all start late. Yeah, because we uh, how can I they put the uh, they start the to start the the classes uh -huh. after the carnival because it it's a huge holiday here. What's the, what's the carnival? What is that? Oh man, it's it's like uh, Mardi Gras. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's it's very similar. Okay, but it's not Mardi Gras. It's just similar. Yeah, we call uh, Carnival. Carnival. But it's not same reason. The same reason, like mothers. I I don't know the the history about Mardi Gras. I don't know. Uh, the Carnival, it's. It's a party that I think that started with the is is slaves. I think I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, that's not the same as as Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, I think, is supposed to be um, to celebrate and party before Lent. Do you know Lent? Lent. Mm, no. no. Lent. Lent is the 40 days that Jesus walked around in the desert. And so we celebrate the time. Uh, it's a Catholic thing. Um, Catholic. Celebrate. Or not really celebrate, but... Uh, have fasting. Or remember. Uh -huh. Remember, maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because Lent is not a time of celebration. That's mm -hmm. why Mardi Gras is before Lent. So. Yeah, yeah, it's in the same epoch. Uh, it, we, you need to, to stop doing something for forty days, I think. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You typically you give something up. 
you you can't eat meat i think i don't know <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you you usually give something up or do something extra and you don't eat meat on fridays um and and you fast on fridays yeah only fridays Oh, yeah. Well, yes, and yeah, for for the uh, no for no is during the fourteen days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's only during the forty days. So you do it on Ash Wednesday, which is the first day. Okay. And then every Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every Friday in Lent. So, anyway, little religious. <laughs> Any celebration at the end of the 40 days? Uh, yeah, so then there's Easter. Um. Yeah, so yay! Christ is risen and everyone's really happy. And you get to, if you gave up candy, you get to eat candy and all the kids are excited and it's a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me welcome Diana. Diana, are you there? Hello, Diana. Hi. How are you? Fine, fine, and you? Good. And what have you done this week? Anything exciting? Um, no, not yet. No. <laughs> Maybe the Friday. <laughs> are you getting excited for the weekend? Do for you have week? big plans? For the next weekend or the other uh, weekend? <laughs> yes, I have a, a lunch with my family. A what? A uh, lunch uh, the Saturday oh. with my family. Cool. It's good to to share the the time with my family. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, very good. It's very nice to see you again, Diana. Welcome to class. Oh, uh, Daniela, I have a question. Mm -hmm. What is Fat Tuesday? What is it that it means? <laughs> <laughs> Fat Tuesday is the day before Lent. Ah, okay. Okay. So it's a it's a part of the Mardi Gras celebration. Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, and Mardi Gras is really big in New Orleans and in Galveston. Okay, okay, I understand. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Oh, we have another person. Hello, Daniel. Hey, hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Good. I'm good. I like your name and your cat. Yeah, he's very handsome. Yeah, he looks very nice. It, how long have you had him for? Well, it's been two and a half years, I guess. And how long do cats live? Um, I don't know. Ten years? 11 years, 12 years. Young. Yeah. <laughs> Aww, how cute. Very cool. Do you have any more pets, Daniel? Or is that it? Yeah, I have t two more cats and a dog. Oh, wow. You it's a like a zoo pets. here. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I love animals. Um, unfortunately, my mom is allergic to dogs, and my dad is allergic to cats. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I eventually got a dog because it was hypoallergenic. Do you know what that means? Hypo. <laughs> hypoallergenic. Uh, it means that the hair on the dog is is different. So the people who are who are allergic to dogs can have hypoallergenic dogs. That's okay. It doesn't make them sneeze or cough. It doesn't give them allergies. So it's it's certain breeds. Certain breeds are hypoal hypoallergenic. But it's something that kills you, or it's a... Uh... No. 
No, 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 it doesn't kill you. No, no, no. No, so my mom is allergic to dogs, but there are certain breeds of dogs that are hypoallergenic, which means she can have a dog, and she is not allergic. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's only a few types of dogs that are hypoallergenic. Anyway, one of them is a Shih Tzu, because that's the kind of dog I have, and he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love him. His name is Max. Okay, anyway. All right. <laughs> Let me welcome Jose Luis. Where does he ride the... Oh, where does what? The dog, where does the dog... We didn't where see the dog since uh, you start. A she she needs to. It's uh. Shih Tzu is the type of breed. It's really small, mm -hmm. and he he lives in the house with us. Is that your question, Bakri? Yeah, I think he is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's a Shih Tzu. Uh, I think it's spelled like this. I don't know. That doesn't look right. I don't know. I don't know how to spell it. Hold on. Oh, that is how you spell it. That's it. Okay. Anyway, it's in um, group chat if you want to see. Okay. Let me welcome Jose Luis. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Good. How are you? Fine. Thanks for asking. Good. All right. And Mauricio, hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. And you? Good, I'm fantastic. Thanks for asking. And Rafaela? Oh, hello? Maybe? I can't hear you. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, now I can. Hi. Okay. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm fine. Good. And... Rafaela, is this your first time with me? Yes, it is. Yes? Okay, and where are you from? I am from Brazil. Brazil. Awesome. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Welcome to class. Okay, nice to meet you, too. <laughs> All right. So, guys, we are going to talk about movies today. So, um... Let me ask a question first. Do you prefer going to the movies to see a movie or watching a movie at home? At home, online. Uh, at home, online? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I prefer uh, the movie of the cinema. Mm-hmm. And why? Mm, because I think it's... Um, I like the popcorn, the big uh, scream, and the sound. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> Have you been to an IMAX theater? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. In here, uh, in Bogota, I have uh, two thea theaters. Mm -hmm. And yes, I went. Awesome. <laughs> Those are pretty cool. All right, and Bakri, what about you? Why do you like watching at home? Uh, I think more relaxing. You can make your own space, like you main setup, and like, the TV. The you can make your own popcorn at home, and it will be fun. More fun, I think, with some friends. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Uh, one correction. Don't forget uh, it. So I think it's more relaxing. Okay. okay. Good. But yeah, that makes perfect sense, Bakri. Um, okay, who else? Daniel, would you like to share? Which do you prefer? Yeah. Um, I like going to the movies. I guess it's uh, most of the time is because I I can go with my friend, my family, a girlfriend, and you can have a. I think the experience is very very more interesting because you can 
have a maybe lunch you can or after after the movies you can uh, dinner with your friends with your family and you have a bigger screen mm -hmm. but the main problem here is is very expensive to to afford going to the movies and there are tons of movies that I want to see so I can catch up I can keep up so I have to download it at home because it's uh, <laughs> I, I don't pay. <laughs> oh no, you do it illegally. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> don't call the cops, okay? No, I won't. This is just going out on YouTube for everyone to see. Oh my god, I'm gonna live. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Okay, one correction, Daniel. Instead of saying it's very more interesting, you would say it's much more interesting. Okay. Okay. One correction. That's it. All right. Very good. Let's continue with um, Jose Luis. Uh, it's no matter for me to try and see them in theaters or in home. For me, it's the same at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No problem. Okay. Uh, no, I, I don't have a preference. Okay. But sometimes I can I can't find movies in the theaters. <laughs> I don't know why in Mexico don't come this kind oh. of, for example, French movie. Actually, yeah, now the cinemas are the theaters is bring bring the this kind of cinema, but mm -hmm. the people don't see a lot. Frequently, these kind of movies. I don't know why. They only want to in Mexico. The people only want to see Avengers or something like that. Okay, so they don't bring. Are you saying they don't bring all of like the Hollywood mm -hmm. films over? All the Hollywood, well, for example, French movies or ah, okay, or Russian or Chinese or something like that. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. Well, sometimes I've noticed that other countries will sometimes get movies first before in America. Yeah, 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 I know. Strange. I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, let me continue with Diana. What do you think? <clears throat> uh, for me, it, it depends uh, on the kind of movie. Uh, if the movie has uh, special effects or uh, good photography, mm -hmm. I prefer the, to stay in the cinema. Mm -hmm. But if it's a, a movie not uh, more interesting for me, I prefer to see in my home in my bed and <laughs> with, <laughs> with a sandwich in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that can be very relaxing as well. Yes. <laughs> All right, Mauricio, what do you think? So, I prefer uh, what moving home. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more comfortable than uh, cinema. Mm -hmm. However, uh, nowadays there there are there is a three D three D movie, mm -hmm. and uh, I like this. Uh, technology. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Why you? You felt you felt uh, you feel bad. <clears throat> I don't know. I I'm very frugal, so I don't like spending extra money. Um, and 3D movies are always more expensive, and when to me when you're in the theater and you're watching the movie after about 30 minutes you forget that it's in 3D <laughs> so i don't i don't know why i'm paying for it <laughs> but that's just my opinion lots of people like 3D mm -hmm. <laughs> and mauricio you know they have uh 3D TVs now right yeah but uh it's very expensive, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially because you have to buy the glasses 
all mm -hmm. individually. Like the mm -hmm. glasses you wear, I think that's what makes it expensive. Yeah. <laughs> because if you only have two glasses and you have five friends, <laughs> then you can't watch it. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. can I can lend. Uh, <laughs> You can, I, it, oh, I you can, can lend them can. to someone? Well, that's very nice of you. <laughs> You're a good friend. All right. Uh, Paolo, what about you? I prefer to stay at home mm -hmm. because I don't like the these nowadays flicks, and I prefer the old films. Oh, okay. I prefer to watch the... <coughs> you prefer to watch I, what? I prefer to watch the... I don't know if in US you have the channel uh, TCM that pass old films. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I don't watch old films, so that's why I don't know the channel. I don't know. And because I don't like to spend money. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I see it. I guess we have it. I don't know. It's a website. Um, okay, so because you don't like to spend money. <laughs> You're frugal, like me. Yeah, the last time that I went to a uh, cinema, mm -hmm. I I was I went to it with a friend of mm -hmm. mine and I I was I went to watch uh, Twilight, I think. And no. I, <laughs> and, it's and a I very had a, romantic, this movie. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that much. And, <laughs> yeah, and I had a terrible sore throat after film. <laughs> Maybe it's not correct, the movie. <laughs> yeah. And my friend is a, a, a guy like me. Ah! <laughs> a guy, no, no, no woman. No, no. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> and I, and the, the movie, what is the comment commenter where they speaking us? I don't know. Say, uh, uh, maybe I. <laughs> Forget <laughs> your, <laughs> your comments about that. This movie, it's so terrible. I think. So what do you? What did you think of the movie? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What What did you think of the movie, Paolo? Uh, I I don't like this kind of movie. I, <laughs> I think that's so goof. I don't know. Goofy. <laughs> 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 So why did y'all choose that movie out of all of the movies? Why that one? I don't. I don't have idea why. I, I don't remember why I I went with him. I I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I remember the the sor the terrible sore throat that I I got. <laughs> why did you get a sore throat? Were you crying? It was no. So sad. No. <laughs> the, the air conditioning was very strong, I think, so... Oh. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that, Paolo. <laughs> You'll have to try a different movie in theaters. I think you would like it more. I, I prefer to stay at home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me welcome Thayer. Hello, Thayer. <clears throat> Hi, teacher Daniel. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Welcome to class. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, Rafaela. What is your What is your opinion? Would you rather stay in and watch a movie or go to see it in theaters? Uh, I like both. But yeah. It, I think depends on the moment. Okay. Um, for example, when I feel like going out, mm -hmm. then I prefer going to theater. Mm -hmm. or, or when there's a great move coming, mm -hmm. like we see uh, special effects. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I'm lazy and the weather is cold, then I prefer to stay at home. So what's a movie recently 
where you've been anticipating the movie and you can't wait for it to release in theaters. The Hobbit. The what? The Hobbit. The Hobbit? Yes. Yeah, I've heard many good things about that movie. I, I really like he, this this kind of movies. How Lord many? Rings. How many Hobbit movies are there? Are, um, there are two, but uh, there will be one more, I think, ne next year. Okay. Okay. So there will be three in total. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very cool. Yeah, I need to watch them, but they're so long. <laughs> I've heard they're good though. <laughs> All right, let me ask there. There, we're talking about movies, so I'm going to ask you the same question. Would you prefer to watch a movie um, and stay at home, or would you rather go out to a movie theater? Um, I like to watch it in my home and at my computer. Yeah. <laughs> I feel more comfortable yeah, with it. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, we are going to start the reading activities. So what we're going to do is we are going to read uh, different movie plots of movies that are currently out in the theater. If you know the ending to the movie, don't say it. Do not ruin the ending of the movie because I do not want to know. I have not seen these. So please, please, please don't ruin the ending of the movie. All right. <clears throat> Let's start with uh, this one. Okay. Um, uh, so, ah, no. <laughs> okay. Um, let's start with Bakri. Can you read that synopsis, please? Can y'all see it? Yes. Ultimately, <clears throat> we set out reinvent herself and revolutionize social order after learning that a judgmental classmate had an embarrassing nickname. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are there words in this synopsis that you do not understand? Re uh, re uh, so reinvent and revolutionize? Okay, so reinvent. Uh, she is in this context it is talking about when you change yourself oops reinvent is when you change yourself so um let's say that you are really bad at being social so you change yourself and you say you know what every day i'm going to say hi to five new people so you try you try to change the way that people perceive you more socially involved uh, it's not always social it can be in any way so if I am bad at math you change something you yeah, so from it's when, you, when you improve yourself or change yourself in any situation yeah mm -hmm. um, and revolutionize it's it's very similar so uh, to start a revolution means to start a change. To start a change, or a to, it's it's like a movement. It's a movement of change. Like for example, um. Mm, it's it's specifically when you when you change like something in government or a cer certain social order or a certain system is, does that make sense or no 
Yes. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um. Mm, okay. Uh, and Bakri, have you seen previews for this movie? Not yet. No. Okay. Um. Based on the synopsis, what kind of genre do you think this movie is? Genre. Maybe. Uh, drama? No. Maybe a drama? Yeah. Maybe. It's actually. Action? No. I don't know about the social alternative. No. It's a comedy. Comedy? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a comedy. It looks really funny. I want to see it. So, <laughs> hopefully, it's good. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let me try the next one. Uh, thank you for reading and good, great pronunciation. Um, okay, hold on. Where is my next link? Here we go. And let's see. Um, Fair, can you read this one for us? No, once I get it up, hold on. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Chart coach, Jim White, Kevin Costner, mm -hmm. is a newcomer to Red, I don't know. <laughs> Red, what is that for? Predominantly. Predominantly. Mm -hmm. Lion High School in California, Central Valley, mm -hmm. Coach White and his new students find that they have much to learn about one another, but things begin to change when White realizes the boy's exceptional running ability more than just physical. What's that? Prowess. Prowess mm -hmm. drives the teens to succeed. Their strong family ties, an incredible work ethic, and community commitment mm -hmm. to their team all play a factor in forming these novice runners into champions. Into champions. Good. This word so, is. <laughs> this word is forging. Okay, okay, forging. Oh, I'm uh -huh. sorry, I, said, I, I thought foreign. <laughs> it's okay. You had a okay. lot of really hard words in there. <laughs> All right, so words we do not understand. Um, forging. <laughs> okay. Um, so when it means that you're like, you're forging, it means like you're transforming. Okay, so you're you're helping shape them. You're helping shape these runners into champions. Okay? Okay. You're transforming them. Okay. <clears throat> what other words? Um, me? Yeah, it can be. Or yeah. Browse, browse, or B R O W E S S. Uh huh. Yeah, you're saying it correctly. Um, it's to have a skill or a certain expertise in a in a specific activity. Uh, okay. Okay. So it's like skill in a particular active activity. Other questions? Oh uh, no, thank you. Okay. Class, any questions? Okay. All right. Let oh wait, okay, so um there. What yes. kind of movie do you think this is? 
um, about what I read not right now. Yeah. So based okay. on what you read, what do you think it's about? What's the genre? Um, I think thriller, maybe. A thriller? Yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> thriller is more like um, when it's something very dangerous. Maybe uh, drama is a better word. Okay. <clears throat> thriller, for example, thriller is... Have you seen the movie When a Stranger Calls? No. Okay. I didn't. <laughs> okay. What about um, like snakes on a plane? Um. What about um, the boy next door? Maybe it is also earlier. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 The new movie. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thriller. Exactly. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, and also I watched yesterday this movie, American Hustle. Maybe it is thriller or I don't know. Uh, we classify it. Maybe I would still consider that maybe a drama, or like okay. a yeah, or maybe yeah, probably a drama. I don't know. Let's see. I'll Google it. Well, okay, American Hustle. Genre. <laughs> I will let you know. Let's see. Um, yeah, it says crime slash drama. Okay. Oh, it says this one says a comedy drama. I don't know. See, everyone can have a different, a slightly different definition. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel. Bye. Okay. All right. Let's see what this one actually is. So I'm guessing drama. Oh. Oh, a docudrama. Okay. So it, since it is based on a true story, it's a mix between a documentary and a drama. That's what docudrama means. So it's based on a true story. Based on a true story. Okay. Um, so, Tisha, did you see this movie before? No, I haven't. Okay. Mm -mm. No, I saw previews, and I want to see it, but I have not. I actually, well, yeah, I guess it's out now, but no, I haven't seen it. There's a lot of good movies out now that I want to see, but movies are expensive too. Uh, here too, unfortunately. So I don't go to very many. Usually, I rent uh, them uh, after. Uh, I'm sorry. What do you mean expensive? Uh, there, the price is very high. Uh, for example, how much costs oh. you to watch it? <laughs> well, it's expensive to me. Uh, they're usually like ten dollars, but uh, then. Okay. But then you have to pay for popcorn and a drink, and so usually it's like I don't know, like probably. Oh, you can, um, by the way, you can download it from Amazon by ten dollars. I mean, in HD. You can't. Well, you can, but then you're not going to the movie. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you can. You can buy it from Amazon, or um, I usually wait. There's a thing called Redbox, um, and the movies are like a mm, dollar nineteen, I think. Um, and you rent it; that's per day. <coughs> so. But quality, I think, not HD in this amount. Um, you can get Blu-ray. For two dollars and nineteen cents, I think. For Blu-ray. Um, could you could you write the website for it's, that? <laughs> it's not a it's not a website. It's um they're little stations. They're uh, like a they're like a vending machine. And they're set up outside of uh, McDonald's and like gas stations and grocery stores. So it's not a it's not a website. Okay. But it's called Redbox. 
and it's literally it's in a red box so it's not a very original name yeah and outside CVS stores too so anyway sorry <laughs> all right let's continue with uh, Diana <clears throat> Okay, let's go ahead and have you read this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gary X six on win. Oh, I can see me. well. Uh, whose late father secretly worked for a spy organization, lives in a South London housing estate, and seems headed for a life behind bars. However, dapper agent Harry Hart recognizes potential in the jail and recruits him to be a trainee in the Secret Service. Meanwhile, Villainous Richmond Valentine launches a diabolical plan to solve the problem of climate, cl climate change via a worldwide killing spree. All right, questions on this? Um, yes. Yeah. What is dap dapper? Dapper? It yeah. means you're like very neat, very well dressed. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, spree. Spree. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, for example, in a killing spree, it means you go out and kill everyone that you can so it's um it's a big event of killing um now if you're on a shopping spree it's a big event of shopping <laughs> so you buy everything you can okay so when you see when you see spree at the end of a word it, it means like a lot or to the full extent is okay. That kind of. <laughs> so, killing spree, you kill everyone in sight. Shopping spree, you buy everything in sight. So, anyway. <clears throat> Other questions, guys? No? Okay. No. All right. Uh, diabolical? It means that when something's like really evil. And it makes you, it's so evil that it, it makes you think of the devil. So I think uh, it's like that word. It reminds me of that word in Spanish, which I think is, yeah. I think is devil, I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. It's so, me. yeah, it, it comes from, it comes from that Spanish root of the word. Um, so anyway, it's something it's something that's very, very evil. Very cunning, very evil. Uh, that's his last name, and I do not know how to pronounce it, Mauricio. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Oh, I thought it's uh, something like Aggie or... <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's part of his name. <laughs> the person uh, yeah. like Egg. Yeah. All right, Diana, what kind of genre do you think this is? I don't know. I think it's a comedy, maybe. Mm -hmm. It is. Crazy story. <laughs> <laughs> it very much is. It's a comedy and action and adventure all in one. <laughs> Good guess. All right. Um, Uh-oh. No. Okay. Let's have Rafaela. You can read next. Mm, this one. Where is it? I am loading it right now. Sorry. It's taking me a second. My computer is not really fast. 
Okay. Um, okay. Um, ever since her parents left her as a baby, little Annie has led a hard knock life with her mean foster mother, Miss Henninger. However, that all changes when her hard-nosed billionaire and major candidate Will Stax takes her in on the recommendation of his advisors. Stax believes that he's Annie's guardian angel, but the plucky youngster confidence and son outlook may may mean that Annie will save instead. Good. All right, good. Um, this word is guardian. Guardian. Perfect. Yep. <clears throat> okay, questions on words or phrases. Hard knock. Hard knock, it means when you're faced with real experiences in life and you're able to, like, um, in this case, she's she's been shown a lot of real-life situations, so they're very hard, it's very difficult, but you're shown the reality instead of um, instead of having an easy life. Okay, and, and hard nosed. Hard nosed. It, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is um. Hmm. It, it just means when you're you're very like you're tough minded. Does that make sense? Do you know what that means? What? Tough minded. So you're like very determined, almost. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So he, he's the kind of person who's probably very set in his ways. He knows what he wants. So that's hard-nosed. Plucky. <laughs> Plucky is um, when you, you are able to face difficulties with courage. Okay. So you have courage... Ah, courage in the face of hard situations. So it's courage in the face of challenges. Uh, uh, brave? Uh, yeah. Brave. Just like that. It, well... Plucky, plucky means like, um, yeah, yeah, it's like brave. It, to me, it's more like, um, it's more like this word. Spirited. Okay? So you're very, like, upbeat, very positive, very, yeah. You're very brave in the face of anything because you're very, like, happy-go-lucky, Positive, upbeat person. Does that make sense? Uh, uh, so upbeat and brave. Upbeat and brave. Yes. Yeah, upbeat. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like the mixture of the two. <clears throat> Any other words, guys? Sunny outlook. Sunny outlook means you have a positive outlook. On life. Anything else? Oh, the um, the first will and will is a, a future tense here. Yeah. When and will save in the last uh, last line. No. And we will save. <laughs> and the second is oh, a yeah. uh, proper name. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, exactly. <clears throat> Names are always uh, capitalized in English. So it's a good indication. 
that it's a name. All right, we are going to continue to try to give y'all some time, some y'all each a chance to read. Okay, Jose Luis, are you there? Jose Luis, hello, Jose Luis, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Okay. All right, Mauricio. You get to read this one. So, let me share my screen. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, okay. Amen Ben Affleck reports that uh, his wife uh husband Week, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Has gone, has gone missing on their 50 wedding, wedding anniversary. But his public portrait of their blissful union begins to crumble under police uh, pressure and a growing media frenzy. Good. All right. This word, fifth. Oh, fifth. <laughs> yeah, not 50th. And uh, this word, blissful. Blissful. Perfect. Great job. All right, questions on this? Blissful. <laughs> blissful means you're very happy. It's a positive emotion. Emotion. Like nothing can bother you. Uh, frenzy uh, means when everything's very crazy and hectic. Crazy, hectic. Um, so, for example, um, have you seen sharks in a tank? Uh, if you see sharks in a tank, um, when they feed the sharks, it's called a feeding frenzy. Because everything gets really crazy, and they're they're going in and out like that. Okay, so it's called like a feeding frenzy. Feeding frenzy, because everything just gets really crazy. <clears throat> uh, other questions? Crumb crumble. Crumble. Uh, it means like everything's falling apart. Everything is falling apart. Um, think of, okay, do you know the word, um, wait, wait, every, okay, do you know the word crumb? No. Okay, so crumb is when you have, for example, a little piece of bread, or let's say you're eating crackers. You're eating crackers, and there are little crumbs that fall off. So when something is crumbling, it means like it's breaking to the ground, right? Or it's breaking apart. Oh. So if that helps. <clears throat> uh, breaking apart. Okay. Um, sorry, I keep taking off the screen. What else? <clears throat> Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Paolo, you're next. Let's see. Uh, wait. Come on. Please. Okay. Oh, man. Here we go. U.S. Navy SEAL Chris Kyle Bradley Cooper takes his sole mission, protect his com comrades to hurt and becomes one of the most left Little, little snipers in American story. His, his P 
pinpoint accuracy not only saves countless lives but also makes him a prime target of insurgents. Despite grave danger and his struggle to be a good hu husband and father to his family back in the States, Kyle serves four tours of duty in Iraq. However, when he finally returns home, he finds that he cannot leave the war behind. Good. Okay, this word, heart. Heart. Mm -hmm. This word, lethal. Lethal. Good. And this word, accuracy. Accuracy. Good. Perfect. All right. Questions on definition. Pinpoint. <laughs> Pinpoint. So it means very precise. Precise. So if someone has pinpoint accuracy, they have very precise accuracy. So, for example, if you are shooting a gun and you aim at someone's eye, which is very small, you hit their eye. Okay. Okay. Uh, comrade, um, it means like uh, his friends in in the in the military. So it's the, it's his companions, uh, com and that's for comrade, comrade. Um, for insurgents, those are the rebels. Okay, so the opposite side that they were fighting against, it was the rebels. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Other questions, guys? Okay. All right, Natalia, I will get a movie for you. <coughs> Let's try this one. Um, let's see. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, come on. Synopsis. Dried to the age by the loss of her beloved mother, Laura Derm, the dissolution of her marriage, and a headlong dive into self destructive behavior, Cheryl Strayed, Reese Witherspoon makes a decision to help her downward do spiral and put her life back together again with no outdoors experience a heavy backpack and little else to go on but her own will. Cheryl sets out alone to hiking hike to Pacific Crest, try one of the country's longest um, togas thrown a trail. Good. This is toughest? Uh, toughest. Good. This word is driven. Driven. Perfect. And this word is spiral. Spiral? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Good job. All right. Questions on these words? Mm. The spiral. Mm, where is it? A spiral is. Oh, a spiral. A spiral. Uh huh. So when you have a downward spiral, okay. So a spiral, um, <laughs> is like this motion. Mm. Oh wait, can you see me? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no. Okay, spiral is like when you're going around in circles like this, mm -hmm. Ooh, like that. Yeah. Okay, so when you're having a downward spiral, mm -hmm. it means you're spinning out of control and it keeps mm -hmm. getting worse. Okay, 
So you're in a downward spiral. It means that nothing good is in sight. It just keeps getting bad. That kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a swirl. <laughs> it's like that, yeah. Uh, the worst, yeah, the spider, okay. Anything else, guys? Okay, if y'all find anything else, go ahead and send me a message uh, in Verbling and I will try to answer it. But I, I've got to go on. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm out of time. All right, so I've got to go to my next Verbling class. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank, Thank you. All right, see you. Bye. Bye. Bye.